So just through the donations that Team Home Care brought to Anchor House last year, we were able to put multiple kids associated with Anchor House through college. These kids that had no hope and really no future uh, are now given a college education and a really solid start on life. So that's a real tribute to your support of Team Home Care. So that's like amazing that you could make such a change in these kids' lives. Anchor House is a local organization that has been reaching out to Trenton area youth for the last 40 years. It reaches out to them in their place of need. Uh, these are teenagers and young people whose families have fallen apart, whose support structure is gone. They need help as far as get emergency housing on through, getting stable educations uh, on into transitional housing, getting good jobs, getting up on their feet as young productive adults. So this is not a once and done type of organization. They really follow the youth through all the way from having their families fall apart to young productive lives where they're solidly on their feet. Um, they have tremendous impact on the lives of these kids. They continue to reach out to kids in need, even on the streets, trying to find who is it that needs help, reach out to them, get them in a good place. So uh, this is an organization that I feel has really strong, solid impact in our local community at times of life that are very vulnerable for our young people. Anchor House has uh, survived mostly through the efforts of the Anchor House Ride, uh, which is a 500 mile bike ride um, in which people will uh, support or commit to supporting riders for these 500 miles. And the funds that these riders bring in bring valuable support to Anchor House. The ride this year, because of COVID situation, is not physically possible to run as the traditional ride. So the riders are asked to perform this ride on their own. We at Team Home Care and as a Maslanka family would like to commit to riding this 500 miles uh, this year, seven members um, riding for Anchor House. Um, and we would love to ask for your support. It'd be a lot more difficult this year because we have to create the route um, and we have to provide for our own housing and food and so forth. All of that is not done for us this year, but we would like to step up and do that and still ride these 500 miles and ask for your support to do that um, with your donations would go straight to Anchor House. Um, going on their website, you can then uh, offer your support for us to do this ride and the kids of Anchor House would then still have your support as well at this critical time. Certainly we understand the economic impact that COVID has had um, and that impact is going right through to these kids at Anchor House too. Their needs haven't changed. Um, they still need the support even more so now um, because their families have fallen apart during this time. This is our seventh year doing the ride. Um, when Mark graduated from high school, uh, he and I did this um, on the first year. We now this year are proud to welcome our youngest family member, who's Sarah, uh, who's turning 17. Um, we're very uh, pleased and happy to have her join us. Um, so we do look forward to continuing this family tradition of giving back to our local community and working together.